Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maribel Feliciano, but you can call me Mari. And happy December. <laughs> so, I changed my hair a bit, if you haven't noticed. I got the red underneath, the black on top. And I got a new sweater, I got new earrings. There we go, I got all the new things out of the, oh, I like. And I don't know if you know this, uh, some people might, some people might not, but I have started my own business. Um, so if you guys didn't see my previous videos, basically I'm taking all of my art that I create and I put it onto products. Okay, <laughs> I get in trouble a lot, right? Because people like to tell me that I hoard which is not uncommon for artists just saying anyways so it's not uncommon for artists to hoard things but from my experience and from other people that i've heard talk about it um it's a thing that happens because we might use it in the future so today is a perfect example as to why we hoard things so i have this fancy printer you know that prints out things that is it's supposed to be like like an art art printer or whatever um so i've been trying to print out like my prints my artwork prints on those and like my packaging and stuff like that i've been using that um but i am out of ink and since i ran out of ink my solution was to come up with my own backing cards without using ink so i had to get a little bit creative so i dug deep <laughs> into um my i guess art supplies i have this thing that's filled with like scrap paper that i've had for over 10 years yeah like over 10 years so i have looked and i sifted and i searched and i searched and i found the perfect unperfect paper that would work perfectly for this project yeah that makes sense construction paper colorful kid construction paper okay now at first i was like ew gross it's old a lot of them are faded it's not really what i'm looking for you know you want your backing cards to look nice and crisp and beautiful and it just wasn't something that I thought I was looking for. But I figured out a way to make it work for me. So I ordered this for stickers. It's laminating paper, okay? So I wanted to laminate my stickers to give them a little bit more interest. And this is a shimmer. It's called Sand Stars. So it's like sparkly stars. I don't know if you can tell. See how it just shimmers and has that holographic-ness to it? Oh, I love it so much. Basically, I combined this with this to make these. Just these perfect little backing cards. And no, they're not very sturdy. I understand that. And at first, I did want it to be sturdy. But look at how perfect that came out that looks pretty legit for someone who doesn't have a legit setup happening currently because i don't have enough money but also my printer is down <laughs> but i think it looks pretty great look at that and i just used like a holographic cardstock on the top So I did do a little bit of experimenting with them yesterday, and this is the design that I ended up coming up with. It's simple, it's straight to the point, it correlates, and they all work cohesively up on the display, so it works perfectly fine. So yesterday, I worked all day on these, trying to get all of the keychains taken care of and put away, and trying to make sure that the design actually worked. I was doing measuring, I was doing cutting, I was playing with the colors, you know, all that stuff. So it took me all day to do that. <laughs> Coming up with packaging can be a little bit difficult. So I did what I could yesterday. And now today we're gonna finish up. And I guess I'm going to take you along with me. And we only have, we have the scarecrow and 
and the mushroom left. So that's what we're gonna work on today. We're gonna be making multiple backing cards for these guys, get them all ready for the show, and then put them up. So that's what I'm going to be working on today, and you guys can um, watch me. <laughs> just, oh my gosh, just look at these. If you look at them, you would never have guessed that these were 10 year old construction paper. Like, look at how, hold on, let me see if I can find one. Well, I don't know. You've seen construction paper before and they're not really perfect. You know, they, they rip easily. They got that terrible texture to them. It's just not pleasant, but now it is, it's pleasant. It's cute. I'm, I'm just tooting my own horn now because I'm just, I'm very proud of myself for creating. Anyway, so we're going to set these aside and we're going to focus on the last two designed keychains. Well, technically, technically, I do have another keychain coming in. It is a nutcracker because if you were not aware, I have a show coming up December 17 and 18, but it's a nutcracker ballet and i'm going to be there with my friend anastasia and we are going to be selling um a lot of like winter christmas holiday nutcracker themed products uh one of those keychains is going to be part of it along with some other stuff that i am trying to get in so so with that being said Let's just hop in here and take care of these keychains. Let's go. Sorry about the lighting. Um, it's nighttime now, you know, seen as the sun goes down faster. Here we are in terrible lighting. But I did finish packaging up my keychains. So they're all set and ready to go in case anyone wants to make an order. You know, if you want one, you can order them online on my website. Yeah, so it is getting pretty late. I think what I'm gonna do now is um, package up some orders, actual orders that people have made, um, get them all prettied up and packaged away so that way I can go ahead and give it to them. Then that's it, because then I gotta go to work, work, work tomorrow. I can't stay up super late or anything like that, but I'm so happy with these. These are so cute. I mean, I wish I had a little bit more branding on them, but like I said, my, my printer is down, but they're, they're good enough. I think they're, <laughs> they're good enough to go. I think maybe when my, my printer gets back up and running, I'll probably print out some logo stickers or something and put them on the back. But 
thank you for tuning in thank you for watching thank you for being here and um i'd like to thank all of you for your support um and the people who showed up at my last show i appreciate that too that was pretty awesome and whoever bought from me thank you very much you guys are fantastic and um that's really it so <laughs> i'm gonna go and take care of these things and i guess i will see you in the next video okay bye <laughs>